just an entrance in the old dressing gown. It's the full business. And Ahmed coming in for his 13th fight. He's had 12, 12 straight wins, 10 of them inside the distance. And this lad says he's going to win four world titles. The plan at the moment is that Frank Warren wants him to fight really regularly and he'll be stepping up, up in class all the while. Now, you may love him or you'll hate him, but he provokes a reaction and he believes all this. He really does think he's the bee's knees. If he was chocolate, he'd eat himself. He really is going steady with himself, but he's a very exciting back boxer. Brendan Ingle, his manager bringing him in, who's had him since he was very young. He's been boxing for a long, long time now, even if his professional career is very short. somersaults in a moment. He uh, works on these routines in the gym. He's very difficult to hit. He's very elusive. He'll stick his chin out, but I doubt Picardi will get too near it. He packs a very good punch himself, and he's very accurate. Frank Warren believes, as a promoter would say, of course, that he's the most exciting prospect for years. I happen to think he is as well. Well, let me tell you that our commentary team tonight is Reg Guttridge. Jim Watts away, so we're delighted to have Nicky Piper as Reg Guttridge's partner. And they'll be picking it up for this European Bantamweight Championship after the official announcements have been made by our Master of Ceremonies here at Sheffield, Mike Goodall. Ladies and gentlemen, the officials for this contest appointed by the EBU are the supervisor Hans Nidham of Holland, the steward in charge, Mr. Dennis Lockton.